Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be looking at a simple gridded um, abstract using some washi tape in the new Dina Wakeley 6x6 journal. So I'm starting off with my 6x6 journal, just taping it up using some washi. So I think this is a Di Reevely washi, it doesn't matter what one you wanted. I just wanted a really thin one because I knew I wanted quite a few little areas on my um, little grid. So because this is a 6x6 six six journal, um, while you do have a fair amount of space if you do a double spread like this, it's 12 by 6 um, you know, you need, to, you need to work the space you've got. So I've divided up into five, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I can't count different pages or different pieces. The trick to doing this is um, with your washi tape, make sure you press it down really firmly around the edges. Washi tape will move really, really easy, but particularly for using some of the gloss sprays that I'm going to be doing today, I want to make sure that nothing's going to seep under the edges because I want those really crisp, clear lines once I pull everything off. And that's the magic of doing these. Um, they can look absolutely dreadful. There's one stage you're going to think, oh my God, what have you done, Neve? But as soon as you pull the, the um, tape off, it's just magic. It's, it's the best feeling ever. So I'm starting off with some of my favorite colors. I did give it a really light gesso first just to make the colours really pop off the craft paper. So I've got marine, turquoise and mineral. Now I'm going to put in some lemon and I'm deliberately putting some of the colours in each bit. I'm going over the line so I'm going to have you know shapes across a few different places. I'm going in and drawing with my stipula or pencil, creating crazy, sort of circly, squarey shapes. Adding some detail onto that. Now you can do this at any stage. I chose to do it in one of my middle layers. Just be aware that the stipula or pencil is a water reactive pencil. Um, so it will change colors, it will blend in. I'm putting some wet paint over the top of my fingers. It is making it darker, it's smudging the edges. I like that effect. If you don't like that effect, leave the pencil off until the end. Obviously, if you didn't have a stipula or pencil, you can kind of use any pencil, really. The stipula is just nice. I like that water-soluble type image it does. So I decided I wanted to do some stamping on this too. So I'm using some of the stamps from the Be Willing set, and this is a script stamp from Dina from a few releases ago. <laughs> any, any stamps you've got this is just to get some extra texture and interest in the background so you can't really see that script stamp but you will in the close-up um, I chose to stamp in a turquoisey color of the top so you know I don't have all black on here so I'm going in now with some of the tangerine gloss spray um, this is one of the new colors that's been released in April and you can see the red there too, which I'm just about to break into. So I've used an old stencil to um, just stencil through. Again, you know, I wasn't very worried about where it stenciled. Um, and I did, because there's a lot of um, paint still left on the stencil, um, I've put it into my journal to create another page. So I am pouring the paint on the red. It, does get caught in that channel in the middle a little bit you can see me sort of tapping it around to get these sort of loose crazy lines you can sort of sponge some off and remove it i'm also splashing on some paint you can see i've made a mess i probably actually should have put that red you know pop that onto my journal page too so that would have been really cool i am going in and heating this too and then sponging off some of the extra so you can still see it's on there um, and it's dried. Now with my blue I got a little bit heavy handed. You can see it poured straight off my page. I'm spritzing it on and spreading it on. Um, trying to use up a puddle I left on my, my desk and again I got a little bit heavy handed in that middle section. So um, I was struggling with that a little bit. Um, on the bottom of the screen you will have noticed that I had a little bit of um, collage tissue. I 
keep pieces of collage tissue that you know I may not use very much and I and if there's ever a spill of gloss sprays or you know I'll overspray I'll always use those to mop it up and that means I've got really cool collage fodder that I can tear up and put into different bits and pieces so here I was trying to remedy that middle section where I've got that um, triangle of um, turquoise um, there was a lot of red and blue under there and it just was very stark so I put on the turquoise and then I rubbed away the excess so I ended up with sort of this star pattern and I could still see some of that underneath so this is where magic happens when you remove the tape now um, I highly recommend that you use your heat gun to heat up your washi before you remove it you may find that some of the um, craft paper may remove with the washi but if you heat it up I got most of that off without any of it tearing which is really good so that's my really simple gridded um, abstract and you can see for what a mess it was by gridding it off you get these really interesting little bits and pieces to work with now obviously you could do the same on a large piece of paper and just cut it up any way you like it will make great card fronts I know I've made Christmas cards with you know these weird and wacky backgrounds and then just putting a focal piece over the, the top of it and um, in this case I'm choosing to put a quote on it so this is again an old Dina stamp set uh, with the fall in love with the process because I really have I've been making lots of these type pages um, I find them very relaxing I find them very freeing it's a great way to use your materials and not be too fussy about how it goes because you end up you know with that it can be chaotic in the middle but having that border around it kind of controls the chaos a little bit so here's a close-up of the edges you can see how straight and neat you can get the edges um, you can see the sprays in the background uh, this is a close-up of where I put that triangle a bit of mess and then you can sort of see where the drips and blobs and splodges have gone in the background so it's just a really really fun project and I would highly encourage you to have a go this was really quick it only took me about 20 minutes to do so um, it's certainly one that you can do on the fly thank you so much for watching if you're interested in the products have a look in the description box below until next time bye for now